the world's water. Salam, kids. Are you ready to go? Asked Mr. Omar, the hydrologist, the teacher who would take Salim, Uzma, Naida, and Amir on a field trip. I'm so excited to travel around the world, said Salim. Yes, and I love lakes and rivers. Oh, they're so peaceful, said Uzma. Well, we'll be visiting bodies of water all over the world, <laughs> said Teacher Omar. Now, hop on the boat. The children boarded the boat. Then they all put on their life jackets. They were floating on the Mississippi River, headed toward the ocean. So, children, do you know what is different about this river water from the ocean water? I know, I know," said Nida. "The water in the river is fresh water, and ocean water is salty." That's exactly right," answered Mr. Omar. Did you know that 97% of the water on Earth is salty water in the oceans? Only 3% of the water on our planet is fresh water that we can drink or use to water plants. Wow! It looks like there is so much water in this river, but it's only a little bit of our fresh water," said Amir, amazed. That's true. It's amazing, but true. Answered Teacher Omar. It's also amazing to know how much fresh water is actually ice. Over half of our fresh water is frozen. Do you know where this water is? Oh, I know," said Salim. "It's in the polar ice caps, like the North Pole and in Antarctica," added Nida. Wow. So that means that only a tiny bit of water on Earth is in lakes and rivers," said Uzma, looking out at the river in amazement. "Yes, isn't it incredible?" asked Mr. Omar. "Now, where else can we find water? Look up," he instructed. "Oh, in the clouds!" exclaimed Amir. "Exactly," said Mr. Omar. Water vapor is in the air and in clouds too. I'll show you. The boat slowed down and stopped. The children looked around the calm river as the sun shone down. Then the children saw what their teacher meant. Look, there's steam coming off the river," said Salim, excited. "Yes," their teacher answered. Soon, that water will rise up and become a cloud. Oh no! The river is making rain," said Uzma. "I hope it doesn't rain on us." The children giggled. Well, it's a very important job. If there were no rain, the water cycle would stop. When the clouds make water fall as rain, it helps us grow plants. It also feeds our rivers and lakes," explained Teacher Omar. "I know," said Uzma. "It's just I don't want it to rain today." "I understand," said the teacher, smiling kindly. "But just in case, I brought my umbrella," said Nida, smiling. The boat reached the Mississippi River Delta. It was here that the river reached the Gulf of Mexico or the ocean. There were marsh grasses and birds everywhere. What is this place? Asked Uzma. We are in the Mississippi River Delta. Here, the waters are brackish, or a mix of ocean and river water. That means the water is saltier than fresh water. But not as salty as seawater. Many animals live in these special places," explained Teacher Omar. "So, are you ready for our adventure?" asked Mr. Omar, revving the engine of the boat. 
Yes, let's explore the world's water, said the children all together, jumping up and down. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV.